Hey, what is up? So today we're going to try to make some thermite, and I'm going to take you along the way of doing that. Um, now, if you don't know what thermite is, uh, I mean, you can Google it. <laughs> It'll tell you. I know what it is. It's just hard to explain. Um, so there's two ingredients, only two ingredients. So you have aluminum powder, which is, I was going to make my own, but it takes too long, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> so what you need is aluminum powder, uh, but if you don't want to buy it, I bought this off of Amazon for like like 10 bucks, I forget what it was, maybe 10 or 20 bucks um, for two pounds of it. I got four pounds, so that way it lasts me, because you can do more than just make thermite with aluminum powder. Um, but if you don't want to buy it and you want to make it, uh, it's actually really easy to make. You can just get uh, aluminum foil and just rip it up into little pieces and throw it in the blender and blend it, but it's not really healthy for your blender. Um, so, yeah, and it takes takes a while to make. So, uh, or you can just get a grinder and grind a bar of aluminum down and put that shavings in a ball mill or something. But I decided just to to buy it because it's not worth the uh, the time of me making it. So. The other ingredient is red iron oxide, which is literally rust. Like it's it's rust. Um, I was also gonna make my own rust as well, but for the amount that I wanted to get, this is a five pound bag of rust powder. Um, that would take a long time, a really long time to to make. Uh, I actually started making some. Uh, I use the electrolyte from the hydrogen generator because that's extremely corrosive and I just set some pieces of steel and then it started resting just fine but that would take a really long time, like months, to get, it would probably take years, a year at least, to get five pounds of rust out of, <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I just decided to buy it. Um, I think this is, this stuff is cheap, it's real cheap, uh, it's on Amazon, I forget exactly what it was. Made, 10 or 15 bucks for five pounds, something like that. But yeah, so you can buy this stuff and mix it together, mix it together right, and you have a, uh, a thermite reaction, which is uh, freaking cool. So I'll show you how to make it, and uh, yeah. Okay, so here we are. Now what you're gonna need here is a scale, and two containers, and your your red iron oxide, aka your rust, and your aluminum powder, aka aluminum powder. So, also, aluminum powder is dangerous. It can actually be explosive if mixed properly with air. You may think it's just kind of not flammable or anything because it's just straight up like aluminum foil. Like, is this flammable? No, you put that in your oven. So, like that. This is literally just blended up this. If you were to light it on fire, it would it would combust and it's it's just not safe. So be careful if you're doing this at home. Actually, I'm just gonna say don't try this at home because I don't want to get in trouble for your mistakes. Okay, so the correct ratio to make this thermite happen is you want three parts red iron oxide and one part aluminum powder. Okay, so what you want to do is you grab your scale, grab a container that you're okay using, wait till it evens out and then Zero it out, and then remember it's a it's a, a three it's a three to one ratio three three parts red iron oxide which is this rust and one part uh, aluminum powder. So basically, I'll make one pound of thermite. So one pound of thermite, which would be um, seventy five percent of <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know math is hard. So I'm just gonna let it rip. So I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go three quarters of a pound with rust, which I'm almost there. A little too much. There we go. Close that up. And now let's tear that again. Now I want to go point. I'm gonna go 0.25 with this aluminum powder. Now aluminum powder is not safe, so 
Careful. Oh, not too much. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here's our thermite. Well, it's not thermite yet. It's got to get mixed. Um, so the, here we have one pound. It will equal out to one pound of thermite. So we just need to stir this up real good. I'm just going to use my screwdriver. I'm actually going to switch it back and forth. Yeah, see how that the the rust, the iron oxide really really stains things. So if you're wearing good clothing, I don't recommend doing this. Same with the aluminum. It really sticks to your fingers. It, this stuff is dry, or well, you want it to be dry or else the reaction won't work. Um this stuff it sucks every every little bit of moisture out of the air. So if you're doing it on a humid day, you might you might not get a good reaction. Yeah, if this stuff gets wet at all, it won't work. But if you if it if it gets any bit of moisture before it's ignited, before it's lit, the reaction before the reaction starts, it won't light. It won't happen. But after the reaction starts, then it's pretty much an all for a free for all because you can't really put out thermite with water. Like it'll burn through water. So there's our thermite. This is actual thermite here. Okay, so here we go. I have a was it a three what is this? I think it's a quarter inch. This is this is almost a quarter inch of stainless, uh, type 316 stainless steel. So it's some some heavy duty stuff here. Uh, this is just a burn mark from before, but I'm just gonna slap a little bit of that on there. Just deal with that. Now it's definitely just not much. It's just a tiny bit. All right. Now let's see. Let's see if we can light it with a torch. There we go. There we go, that was a thermite reaction. Now what you see there is the the melted that is the, the melted iron and the aluminum that's left over. Now that was super bright that I couldn't even I couldn't look at it. I glanced at it for a second when I when I lit it and I can still see it in my eyes. So it was a torch. There we go. There we go, that was a thermite reaction. Now what you see there is the the melted that is the the melted iron and the aluminum that's left over. Now that was super bright that I couldn't even I couldn't look at it. I glanced at it for a second when I when I lit it and I can still see it in my eyes. So okay. The only reason I can touch this plate is because it's so big, it, it, it's like a big heat sink. It's only hot right in the center, which is, I can feel the heat from like, back here I can still feel the heat. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So what I did was I just cut a, uh, a propane little gas canister in half. Um, now I think this is, I think this is aluminum. Aluminum or steel, I forget. But I'm going to fill this up, probably half full. This is... I don't know, four inches in long. So let's fill this up and see if we can burn through it. 
Well, I know we can. Okay, now we're about half full. It's about right there. And, uh, oh, let's go. Ah, screw it. Let's go with the rest of it. Alright, so now it's like right here. So, yeah. Now let's go see if we can light that. Um, I think I have a fuse. I'll use a fuse. Okay, so here we have our thermite. I'm just going to slap a little fuse in there. That way I don't have to slam my torch into it. And the only reason I could light that with my torch the last time is because uh, I'm using a map gas torch, which burns a lot hotter than uh, regular propane. So, yeah. Okay, so here's our thermite inside of our propane tank, and here's our big, thick piece of stainless steel. We're going to try to mount through as much as we can. You're going to have to get back, probably. Well, I don't know how much it's going to go. Yeah, that wasn't hot enough. Oh no, it did. Is it bright? There we go. Oh, well, that's hot. You can feel it. That was around, I think, 4,000 degrees, 4,500 or something. Freaking hot.
So as you can see, it didn't melt the whole way through, or it didn't melt through the stainless. I didn't really expect that because it's, this stuff is, this is some thick stainless steel here. And I didn't use all that much thermite in reality. So, but it did get real hot and warped. I don't know if you can see that. But this whole plate is bent up and warped now. And the grass underneath is all burnt. So yeah, and there's still some some steel or aluminum or steel aluminum composite. Uh, it's just melted to that. This thing got all melted up, and this thing is all brittle, like a whole can, whole aluminum can or uh, steel or I think it's steel. This can is all. Uh, Brittle. Here's a piece of it. Just snap. Um, so this is a steel container and it melted. That means it got over 25, 2500 or 2700 degrees. I think it's 2500 to melt steel. So it's a 4000 degree reaction and you can definitely see that it melted to steel. So. Okay, so that's how you make thermite. It is one part aluminum powder and three parts iron oxide. Uh, this is red iron oxide, which is, it's, it's rust. It's steel rust. I explained that before. Um, so what I did was I made one pound of thermite. So I did 0.75 pounds of rust or iron oxide and 0.25 pounds of aluminum powder. Now, if you're to try, try this at home, I suggest you be very, very careful because this is extremely dangerous. Aluminum powder alone is super flammable. Uh, it can combust from just like a, a little flame um, and it burns rapidly and hot. So I recommend you're very safe and the thermite reaction is extremely, extremely bright. It'll blind you if you're not careful. It'll, it'll mess with your eyes even after the thermite reaction is done. And it's just molten metal there. That molten metal, just looking at it, will it'll put dots in your eyes. So you gotta be careful with that. So this video was just me showing you how to make it and how it burns and everything and the reaction itself. I also want to do a video of me making thermite and showing you how powerful, how hot it really is. People burn through, like the military, oh, I don't know if they still do, but they used to anyway. They used to use this stuff, like thermite bombs, I think. I forget. Even thermite grenades, I think. But basically, there's videos on YouTube of people, I think even Mythbusters has it, of um, like burning through cars. Like they'll set a big hunk of thermite on top of the car and they'll melt right through the entire car onto the ground. And even, even the engine block, like they'll put thermite on top of the hood of the car and they'll melt through the engine into like all the way down until the thermite hits the ground. Now it takes a lot of thermite to do that and I'm not going to do that because I don't have the money just to burn a car. So. <laughs> I also want to do a, a thermite reaction at night time to show you how bright it really is. Uh, it'll light up the entire yard um, of how bright it is. It's like way brighter than a flashlight. <laughs> it's like a little sun in your, in your yard. And if you like this type of video, this type of experiments, uh, let me know. And if you don't like this type of experiments, let me know because I like to do everything. I will literally do anything. Um, anything that's fun, dangerous, or different. I'll do it. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe.